Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr. Uh, I feel like I forgot something getting ready for this. Uh, it, it's been a weird day. I, I had a little bit of a health problem yesterday, and I spent today resting and recovering. And, uh, and n- nothing, nothing bad, nothing that bad that I know of yet. Uh, no, nothing that bad, nothing that bad. Uh, what I am going to do is, or so, yeah, so I ended up. Spending a lot of time sleeping and resting and trying to recover. Uh, and I was busy trying to get ready for the live stream, not paying attention to the time and realizing, oh, 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 it's it's almost time to start. So uh, I got a small little egg farm going finally because I finally got my pumpkin farm moved down here. Uh, having only one plant instead of two and having this be a little more lossy than actually manually farming means I'm probably not going to get them as quick as I was before, but it might be quick enough. And, and th- th- this guy's been doing okay. Uh, eventually, once I get to the nether and I can get some observers, I can tile up some better better farms for melons and pumpkins. And, uh, and then that should help speed things up in getting melon slices and pumpkins. Uh, also, 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 I'm going to need, <laughs> I, I needed a way to mark off that this was a slime chunk, so I didn't forget, so I just threw a bunch of slime blocks down there. And over here, I've got a cactus farm. I'll show you the top view, but, uh, it's a, I got the basic idea off of Shulkercraft. I made some minor modifications to fit, uh, our situation here on Skyblock because in the Shulkercraft version they used a lot more hoppers than I did uh, because when you're in vanilla Minecraft you're not limited to a certain number of hoppers and on Skyblock we are so I managed to redesign it down to where there's the one hopper there and this hello beach duck and this is a surprisingly productive <laughs> cactus farm like the way challenges work, uh, here, let me pull up the challenges menu here. So you got the cactus farm, right? And it says this challenge requires 128 cactus. If you notice right above that, it says requirements will be reset in 18 hours. The idea is is to uh, curb people's ability to just spam complete challenges and just complete them, complete them, complete them. The cost of completion goes up up and it'll reset back down to the base cost after a certain time has elapsed so the base cost for for this farm is like 68 or something like that um and and so if i wait 18 hours i can i can complete the challenge with fewer cactus if i were to complete it now it's going to eat up 128 cactus and then it's going to increase how many it takes to finish it yet again uh, this thing has been productive enough that I started with only enough sand for less than half the farm. I finished the farm, rapid fire <laughs> completing it after a day AFK, and I still went back and rapid fire completed without having waited for the reset timer. Uh, still rapid fire completed enough for another 30 sand. So that's four sand for each completion. Uh, I used a couple more here and there. I don't recall where. Uh, and I melted down a bunch for some glass. Uh, I was hoping to wait until I could trade for glass, but uh, you, you'll, you'll see why if I get to the mob farm part. Uh, what I'm what I'm tempted to do is do the sugar cane first, because if I can get a steady source of sugar cane with the eggs and the melons, or sorry, melons, the pumpkins, um... I can get off of this diet of melon slices and start getting uh, pumpkin pies. Although, now that I think about it, I don't know that the pumpkin pies are any more filling. Because, I mean, the melon slice only fills one haunch of hunger. Uh, I might have to I might have to go make a uh, pumpkin pie real quick just to, just to see. So, uh, let me head back to... Let me head back to the top of my island there. And uh, 
let's go grab a sugar cane. I've been trying to save them. Because uh, I had farmed a few of them manually. But uh, let, let, let's check and see if this is going to be worthwhile food-wise. I, I do want a better source of food. And at some point, I may just get to the point where uh, <laughs> I, I start rigging up the eggs to go back into that dispenser there and uh, and then just use uh, chickens and set up a chicken cooker or something. Although. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Pumpkin pies are four haunches. Oh. Oh, I totally need to switch to pumpkin pies now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to crank up the pumpkin pie production a little bit, though. Uh, and I'll have to get a few more guys in there. I think I've only got like three or four chickens in there, but yep, 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 yep. Off the melon slices, onto the pumpkin pies before too long. Uh, hopefully once I get to the nether, I can do that. Speaking of, uh, I haven't been running the slime farm much because I've got way more slime. I, I've got enough that I could use it to fill the rest of a chunk as a marker, and still have like six stacks left over. And I gave Arcadius a stack earlier today. Uh, yeah, so I got two here. I got four more up up there. Uh, let me uh, let me grab this. And I need a slab. I just need one slab of jabby because I want to show off the inside of this cactus farm. And then I will turn chat back on. And we can get caught up with everybody else. So, uh, let's elevate, <laughs> elevate ourselves real quick. And there we go. And honestly, the, the shulker, the obscene number of cacti you get from the shulker craft version comes from repeating this four or five layers. Given, given that I'm getting enough cactus to get by, uh, I might just leave it at the one layer. And what I'll probably do is I'll build the sugar, sugar cane farm, the layer above this, and and then, and no, and then, and then, uh, go from there. But one of the problems I'm going to run into is if you'll notice a small section of this farm is in that slime chunk it doesn't matter for the sugar cane for the for the sugar cane for the cactus farm because slimes won't spawn on half slabs which i've got along the wall they won't spawn on fence posts which i'm using to break the cacti and they won't spawn on top of the cacti or flowing water so there's no space in there for them to spawn. That's part of why I built it here, because I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that area. Here's where I'm going to have to find more farms to stuff. Matter of fact, I may move those farms over there into here, just so that way I've got something taking up the space. Uh, although I might wait until I've got the observers to uh, automate the melon and pumpkin part a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait until I get the redstone supplies, and then I'll build a melon and pumpkin farm. Oh, wait, no. I don't know that I'll be able to do that and make it slime-free. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, have, to, uh, I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about that. And I, I'm going to build the mob farm above the slime farm. That that part I know. I've been looking at a lot of different designs and I, I don't like a lot of the ones that I see. So I, I'm going to kind of wing it and and build something a little more custom over there. Oh, let me get the uh, let me get the grid grid out from there. Um, so so I'm going to set it up. So there's a platform about 20 blocks above those spawning surfaces. 
and I'm going to build the mob farm itself another 20 blocks up from that platform. That does two things. That Hi, Beach Duck. Internet problems again. Um... So I'm gonna build I'm gonna build a platform about 20 20 ish blocks up from those platforms that way while I'm on the platform above the farm I can turn the water off and, and um, complete a thought no <laughs> I can turn the water off and and uh, and farm slimes while I'm working the mob farm. Or I can leave the water on and just get the mob farm. And on that platform, I'm going to build a chamber that will have a retractable floor. So that way I can switch it into AFK mode, in which case they'll just they'll drop to their death down to the flames below. Uh, or I can put it on manual mode where it'll close the floor. They'll fall onto the blocks in front of me. And, and then I'll be able to knock them off from there. That's my thought. I want to rig it, though, so that way, instead of relying on mob movement AI for them to walk off the platforms, that I set up a clock that flushes them off the floor. So the mob farm probably won't end up the, uh, the size of that. Here comes Medic. All right. Let me, uh, let me unmute. Did I, did I get Discord unmuted correctly? Hello? Yep, I'm here. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, just uh, finishing up my plans and things. Did you see my new cactus farm? Uh, I saw it. I saw it from hey, one my angel. area. Yeah, this... I saw it from the top of my area. It, it was pretty large. Um... The funny thing is, this is about one-fifth of what the video has building. And it's already slightly more productive than I technically kind of need. But, uh... Well, thank you for that. I do appreciate that. Uh, I've been using my uh, Amazon Prime sub to keep your channel going, too. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, with uh, with the version of Skyblock that we're playing, uh, you've got these challenges where there's a cactus farmer challenge. You ten turn in a certain number of cactus, and you'll get four sand. And I've been using... I, I only started with enough sand to build maybe a third of what I needed. And it was already producing enough cactus that I was able to use that to get the rest of the sand that I needed after leaving myself AFK for a day. And uh, and I, I've been rapid fire turning in quests uh, at, at the cost of extra extra cacti. <laughs> yeah, that, that is a thought too. Um, but I, I'm actually going to build the mob farm over, over the uh, slime farm. Now, that slime farm is way more productive than I thought it would have been. Uh, <laughs> in most normal circumstances, I probably would have built another two or three layers up. But I, I can't... I haven't been using enough slime to make that worthwhile. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a platform probably about 20-ish twenty block, 20 -ish blocks above where the spawning is. Uh because spawning is in a sphere around the player and, and that should let's not walk off the platform shall we um, that should allow me to to put the AFK platform over over there and then I can either turn the slime farm on or off while I'm here and I'm going to put the mob farm above it so that way the mobs are dropping into the same collection system which means at some point I'm probably going to expand that from three double chests to six double chests. I just need to get enough iron for a few more hoppers. Eventually. Eventually. But first, I think I need to get a sugarcane farm going. Because uh, I've got pumpkins, I've got eggs, and... How much 
much watermelon I carry. Oh no, the watermelon's for food. Slime blocks are for surviving falls. <laughs> but, uh... With, uh, with, a um, Pumpkin farm, egg farm, if I get the sugarcane farm going, then that means that I'll be able to, uh... I'll be able to, uh... Get some food that lasts a little bit better. Uh, melon slices are one haunch of hunger. And pumpkin pie is four haunches of hunger. Oh, oh yeah, no, no, no. The, the, these are slime blocks. Yeah, second best scaffolding around. Although, much like Medic, I have not yet found a wandering trader to give me uh, more actual scaffolding. They d they don't seem to they don't seem to like my island. All right, let me grab a water bucket. Let me grab. How do I want to build this? You know what? It... Mm. Here, let me get three more of these guys cooking. I need to get a a better smelting system set up. Like I. I know it's going to use, like, uh, six more hoppers out of my limit, but, uh, <laughs> time loops. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed Medic's uh, spawning problems. I need to package up a data pack I've been using and send it his way. I think I need to go in and manually update it, though. Um, if... I go into video settings and turn off smooth lighting. I can go to this resource pack and put in monster spawning check. And what that does is that shows me what squares have a light level low enough for mobs to spawn. So everywhere outside of this ring... <laughs> Is a light level low enough for mobs to spawn? I'm not overrun because the 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 resource pack only goes by light level. It doesn't check anything else. So these are bo these being bottom slabs, they're not spawnable. But if you're building flatlands like what he's got over there, you'll see where they can actually spawn. Like uh, if we go over this way, oh, that's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw the squid. Uh, yeah, that's right. These are bottom slabs. That's not going to matter. Because I know he said something about he had something spawn down here and whack him. And it might have come from that platform if that's not bottom slabs. Which, no, that might be. That's bottom slabs. Never mind. Uh, although it looks like there's two blocks up here. <laughs> that are top slabs and they're spawnable. So over here by this little well, there there's two spots that you gotta worry about stuff spawning. And yeah, when you take away all the other possible spawning spots. Oh, um, your uh, slime farm overfloweth. <laughs> Oh no, don't jump into the void. <laughs> oh, he's going to follow me now, isn't he? <laughs> Might want to build, build a bigger wall there, good sir. <laughs> it probably jumped up on top of a small one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, let me, uh, let me, let me do, no, uh. Let me turn off this resource pack. I don't like running around with it because I, the the light level. I, I just need it for troubleshooting. The the pink everywhere that is too light or too low a light is uh gets to me. Okay, back to the game. Let me uh you you want to see you want to see a surprising amount of slime let's go over here and get this guy rolling 
The kicker is, is I don't have a good AFK spot that's far enough away that actually allows you a look into... So I hit that switch, it turns the water off on those platforms there. And they're going to start over that way. What I really need to do is I need to get uh, a little bit further away because no mob will spawn within uh, 20, 22, 24 blocks of the player. I can't remember which. It's that short-term memory thing. Can't remember what it's called. Uh, let me go grab my uh, scaffold <laughs> scaffolding again. Actually, by that point, I'll, I'll have given them a chance to spawn into. Then maybe I'll actually get to get to doing some work. Ah. Highly overrated. Yep. In in the game, there are chunks that have a chance that. 10% of chunks are slime chunks. So these two platforms are basically there to spawn nothing but slime. Slimes are the only hostile mobs that do not require a particular light level to spawn. So by putting the jack-o'-lanterns there, it provides enough light to prevent anything else from spawning. Um, you'll see a lot of slime farm designs where they provide iron golems or snow golems or other types or other critters to, uh, to, to aggro the slime and get them to move, to move in a particular direction. But honestly, the slime AI is so dumb. You, you don't need that. They'll bounce off the edge all on their own, f almost as quickly. And uh, so if you're early game like I am now and you don't have the, the iron to create the iron golems for these guys to be attracted to, you, you just set up a couple of water channels. They get pushed down. Um, in that little corner there is a gr three by three grid of fires and they'll just get pushed by the water onto the fire. My only problem is the opening is so big that a lot of the chunky ones there will clog it up. But let's, uh, let, let, let me now, oops, too far. Let me, uh, let me drop myself down. It hasn't been running for that long. I'll, I'll turn it off by waterlogging the, uh, top area. And then we'll see just how much slime got generated in the length of time it took me to turn it on walk over there and explain all that. But we got to give these guys a chance to finish uh, dying by the fire. <laughs> Oop, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that's going to be... Okay. Whew. You can hear them. All right, let's get ourselves back up where we can watch until they're finally done. All right, so the last few are making their way into the uh, the place of unfortunateness. When I get the iron to add a second row of chests, it is going to, by necessity, require me to move those campfires up a level and back one block, which I think will actually be a net positive because it'll provide a square there and a square there that the bigger guys can start getting uh, <laughs> shrunk. Because each time, each time uh, when the large ones die, they split into two smaller ones or two medium ones. And when the medium ones die, they split into four small ones. And, uh, so by having a block where like where that guy is sitting right now that he could start taking damage, it might get them through the killing area faster, which would actually increase the production rates of this. Because right now that's the bottleneck. It, it's not killing them fast enough. One, one, and I probably won't do, rebuild the chamber until I get access to the nether. Because the nether is going to give me access to soul sand and soul soil. 
which will let me make soul campfires. They're blue burning campfires that actually kill faster than the regular campfires. So by having hotter burning fires that, that kill them faster and moving it a block back, that should uh, drastically increase how many how, how many uh, how many slimes I get out of this. But just that little bit, there's 35 there, there's another 39 there, there's another 60 there. <laughs> so that's two stacks and a bit. Uh, you know, another 14 blocks. And there's still one more guy bouncing around in there. He'll, he'll die and he'll give me another uh, four, eight-ish. Somewhere around there. I, I forget how many uh, slime balls they die when they die to natural causes as opposed to a player kill. But yeah, so just that little bit and I got 14 blocks. <laughs> I could. Uh, I know Rayest had originally talked about building the entire bottom floor out of slime blocks. So that way if she fell off of anywhere, she wouldn't die from fall damage. The only problem is, is that slime blocks are spawnable blocks. So all kinds of mobs can spawn off of the top of those if you don't light it up. Um, they used to be transparent to light, but I don't think they are now. Uh, so in previous versions of the game, you could actually put a light below a slime block and the top would effectively be lit from underneath. But if I remember correctly, that doesn't work anymore, which is kind of sad because that, that was a really nice function of the game. Yeah, exactly. She survived the fall to land in the middle of, well, maybe not 300 zombies, uh, up to the mob cap, which is about 50. So, yeah. Of course, if any one of those is a creeper, then you, you got bigger problems anyway. Because slime blocks have ridiculously low blast resistance and uh, you, you'll end up needing to replace larger chunks of your floor than you really want to. And there was something else too. I don't... I'm having another absent-minded moment. Hang on. Yeah, no. I don't know. Although that was enough time to get that done. Which means I can use that for building over there. I need... I need ladders. I need ladders, I need my bucket of water, I'm going to need sand, and a bunch of other stuff up top. Also, I, I pulled up all the crop farms because I'm trying to move all my farms. Tree farms will go down there soon, but I'm trying to move all my farms and workstations down to the bottom, so the bottom of the island is going to be my work area. And I'm going to slowly build stuff up as I need to. This top area where the island started, this is going to be the decorative area. So at some point, I'm going to dig out a, a solid granite path down that way and a solid granite path down that way. Although, uh, I still got to give Medic a hard time for his path being off the center mark by two blocks. Uh, but I'll build a path out that way, and, and then I'll make a garden area in the center, and then a square building and kind of a Romanesque style. I, I need to I need to start looking for uh, images because I I think I know what I want to do, but I don't think I have the right description of it. If that makes sense. Yeah, you say Romanesque, and all I think of is that is going to be a ton. Of course. Oh, no. I, who, who said anything <laughs> about quartz? I didn't say anything about quartz. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't say nothing about quartz. Yeah. Uh, well, I because a lot of the farms that I build are ugly. I'm not going to lie. They, they, are built, they are engineered for efficiency, not for beauty. <laughs> so, so I'm going to put all the ugly stuff down below, and then I'll build out the top part of the island to hide it all. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll put the villager trading stuff up at the top, though. 
Uh, I'm tempted to just because it would be nice to have the living area populated by villagers. Um, but on the other hand, that means that all my trading materials are going to be in the storage down by the farms. Or I'm going to have to have the storage up here and the farms down here. Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm, I might work out something too where... Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do this though because of the hopper limit. Like I would, if it wasn't for the hopper limit, I'd actually have stuff set up so that way I could push buttons up at the top and get stuff that I needed from the farms down below uh, pushed up into into various uh, bubble vaders from the bottom up to the top. But that that might be asking for too much. All right, uh, I, f I need. What do I need? I need a plan. <laughs> I need the sand though. No, I, I meant to put the dirt away. Uh, I don't need, oh, I'm gonna need a bunch of fence gates. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, Med Medic has more than a cat. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Medic and Arcadius are definitely winning in that in respect to builds, but they've also had a, a little more uh, playtime. What? I don't understand, man. Yeah. This yeah, is a completely just... fair and equitable server. <laughs> it is fair and equitable in that everybody can build, you know, fair and equitably. <laughs> Wait, we're all working under the same rules. I'll put the glass down, down at the bottom because I'm gonna. No, no, I, I'll save that. I'll come back for that and when I need it. Yeah, yeah, he's got a cat infestation problem. I, I need to, I need to actually double check the wiki because when he was talking about it, it, it reminded me that I think. I can't remember if taming a cat counts it against the mob cap or not, because there's a difference between a cat and a tamed cat. Um, if taming a cat still counts towards the mob cap, it might be worth taming a certain number of cats because a village will only spawn a cat if a player is within so many blocks of the village and there's not already a certain number of cats. So having having a bunch of tame cats sitting close enough to the village might be enough to keep it from spawning more cats in. I just got to double check the numbers because th this is another one of those areas where it, my memory. Uh, we're, we're not going to talk about my memory. What were we talking about? I can't remember. Um, okay, then. <laughs> let me let me grab some andesite. Let me grab some cobble. Let me grab some stone. And eventually I gotta consolidate all my storage down below as well. Cause I, I do want to have this set up so that way the this up and down shaft <laughs> is in the same spot. So there'll be a water pad for you to drop straight down to the bottom, a ladder to climb back up to where you want to. And I'll probably put a more decorative landing area. <laughs> and uh, But I want to turn this middle area, so where you land, it's going to be storage and workstations. And then start building out the farms past there. Um, that's the thought, anyway. All right, let me, let me get some slabs, because I'm cheap. Oh, ladders, ladders. I needed the ladders while I was up there. I know I forgot something. I don't have ladders down here, do I? No, I don't have ladders down there. But I do have some more fence gates. I'm not sure that's going to be enough, though. Um, yeah, this is this is where this is where the the interesting part of being in Skyblock comes in because there's a lot of things you don't have to worry about in vanilla Minecraft that you do in Skyblock. And, and and so this really gets you thinking in terms of the mechanics of the game, how it all works, and ways to get around limitations. And it really, uh, 
I personally like the the way it forces you to be a lot more creative in your solutions. Because, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's going to get rather interesting. All right, I'll put those there for now. Because this ladder's not going to stay here forever. It's just until I can get up into... Uh, so I can get up and down off of the wall here. Ooh, let's not jump into the wall, though. All right. Um, so if that is going to be... All right. Let me think about this. <laughs> you caught that, did you? Yeah, you like that. <laughs> Um, ever since somewhere in the middle of season zero, I've had one of those wherever I start the stream and I just move it and see who notices, see who's paying attention. One notice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And that'll be okay. Did someone notice? Yeah, someone noticed. Who? Oh, yeah. Um, the way the way cactuses work, when cactuses in Minecraft grow, all they do is they check to see if there is a space above them and it's not already three tall. But cactuses cannot be next to a block in a directly adjacent. So if there is a block right next to it on the north, south, west, or east, it will break off. So by putting the fence posts here, the cactus looks to see if it can grow. It sees a space above it, so it grows up a block. And then it recognizes that it's next to the fence post, and it can't have something next to it. So it breaks off the cactus that it just grew. And that's how, that's how this cactus farm works, is it exploits that mechanic. Uh, the nice thing about cacti is they do not require light to grow. So, like, the pumpkin and melon farm, you'll notice I got a jack-o'-lantern in there lighting it up. Because uh, melons and pumpkins need a certain amount of light to grow, whereas cacti don't. So, I can completely cover this farm with another farm on top of it and not worry about affecting the cacti's ability to grow, which is really nice. So, yeah, it grows up. It recognizes that it can't be there. It breaks off. And it falls into the water stream. The only problem is this is not 100% lossless. There is a chance for a percentage chance. Let me back up. When a cacti breaks off, it picks a random direction to fall. And so there is a small percentage chance that it could bounce off the fence post and back onto the cacti. And any block you drop on top of a cactus is destroyed. Uh, so if you remember me mentioning in, yeah, <laughs> so if you remember me mentioning in Medic stream or, or Arcadius' stream earlier today where I lost a bunch of uh, slime blocks building this farm, it's because I was using the slime blocks as spacers. So I put a slime block, a fence post, slime block, a fence post as uh, spacers. And every now and again, when I break the slime block, it had accidentally drop into a cactus. Hello, Beach Duck. We, uh, I think we need to find you a better internet provider. At some point. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And, uh, yeah, so you can get into all sorts of fun with this. Now, with the slime farm being as productive as it is, I don't, I don't feel as bad about losing the slime box. That's that's part of why I'm using them for uh, temporary blocks here. I'm going to need to build this wall up a couple more blocks. Because what I want to do is I want to set it up so that way um, this little spot here is covered in water. Because this little chunk within the grid... so. Where I'm standing here, out to this line here is in a slime chunk. 
and I don't want slime spawning in my farm. Uh, I'm going to try to set it up so that way the the actual sugarcane farm starts here outside of the slime chunk and then pushes them into a water stream that pushes them into this water stream that pushes them into the storage down below. <laughs> not convoluted at all. Nope, not even a little bit. Uh, so... I now have a song stuck in my head. I just keep hearing this little chunk of mine. <laughs> this little chunk of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, do I, do You're I... going to let it shine, this mm -hmm. little chunk of yours. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, let's do this. And then for the chorus, you could do let it slime, let it slime, let it slime. <laughs> oh, that's... Seriously? And you get mad at me? I'm allowed to. Uh-huh. All right. Let me cap this Perfect off. Perfect being quick. a sibling. I beach duck. <laughs> 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 really, really... <laughs> Nobody's going to see outside that part of the wall, so these will go out this way. The water will be flowing this way. I learned a very important thing at work today. Uh-oh. I always get worried when you say stuff like this. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, you people I'd... are not trusting. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did what, what did you learn at work today? I learned how long I can consecutively do really, really difficult tracking math. Ah, uh. it's seven hours. Ooh, that that was when I hit the wall that I should have stopped. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. All right. Cobble, stone, and andesite. I need to bring this wall up more, so we'll go. I'll keep that handy. Put that away. <laughs> What, where our, where our limits are? Yeah. Yeah. Where too much math is? You would have thought I learned that when I was a kid during school. Uh, well. No. Look, when it, when it comes to math, my limit was a long time ago. Uh, my, my SAT scores prove that. My SAT scores did not love the math either, but... As an adult, like, I, I enjoy some of the maths. I enjoy a lot of the maths, especially when the maths do a thing. Especially well, when they do a thing you want them to do. And, and that is one of the criticisms that I've seen of the way American math is managed. And I tend to agree, now that I understand a lot better, uh, that we're a little short on the practicalities. Ah, that's fair. And if we were doing better about making practical math, it wouldn't be. You mean not just giving someone a sheet of paper and a bunch of problems and saying, do these problems? And they go, why? And you go, because. Yeah, context-free problems do not help anybody. And, and I... That, that is one way as well. I, I don't know that that's necessarily a recommended way, though. That is very practical math, though. Alright, 
Um, how tall am I going to need to build this new wall? 33. That is actually not helpful. You're surprised? No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> uh, I don't know who's winning the cobblestone race. Uh, I mean, is that really a race that you win? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes it is. I don't think I'm in it anymore now that I've been transitioning everything to the mossy. Yeah, I, I'm trying to at least mix up, mix things up just a smidge. I bet I have the most mossy cobble of anyone, though. Uh, yeah, because I haven't gotten around to harvesting any vines yet. I think you're the only one with mossy cobble. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I am still I am still waiting for apples. I, I've got about a dozen in a box up there. And once I can get to the nether, I can get a gold farm together. Which will Please make that your status update somewhere. What? Waiting for apples. <laughs> <laughs> Please do that for me. Waiting for apples. <laughs> Hashtag waiting for apples. <laughs> Please do that. I really want that to be a thing. Don't, don't fall for it. Don't do it. <laughs> Please? No. Oh. <laughs> so that's going to put... So I'm going to have water flowing down into this basin here, which is going to push them down there. And the odds of anything hitting that cacti are small, which means it's going to happen to me more often than I want. Well, I mean, I could put a uh, glass pane here, and that would drop it directly below. Yeah, you know what? Where did... Uh, Speaking of practical math, <laughs> if anyone in here knows someone at some college or university wants to do a study on statistical probability... Oh, hush. Please reach out <laughs> <laughs> to Anon on our website. Oh, hush. <laughs> just, be, just, just because the odds... Never, never work in my favor, no matter how hard I try. <laughs> it's not just that they don't work in your favor. It's like, it's that they shouldn't be the way they are. Like, um, like this is beyond RNG not liking you. Arcadius, are you going to sleep? No, no, no. Okay. Joking, yes. Yes, I am. Because I was about My to say, I probably like should have brought more... more uh, <laughs> I, I actually find myself in a bit of a pickle. I've got sea pickle. Mm. Uh, no. <laughs> I only mentioned because you brought up pickles. Yeah. All right. So over there will be okay for the moment until I can get some torches because I forgot to bring torches. <laughs> and I, I'm suddenly building and at least if I can slab off that that means I don't have to worry about slimes and I'll finish up the wall here in a second except I know I'm going to need to build this wall just a little bit bigger because I'll run booster Oh, a Wi-Fi booster? Like for your car? No, 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 no. Uh, signal booster. Oh, I thought because Beach Deck usually uses a pillow when she drives. <laughs> hmm. They're just throwing her under the bus. Yeah, I like it. Uh, <laughs> technically speaking, yes, there are signal boosters you can get. Uh... Most apartments, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that made me happy. Okay. 
recap this here for the moment. I need to go grab I need to go grab torches and a second bucket of water. Now I'll get back to building this up. Oh, that was bad one wing. <laughs> that was like a non level. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm just I'm just going to let that one sail quietly by and uh, sip my coffee. <laughs> only because you know she's right. <sighs> no, only because <laughs> Natty didn't think of it first. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I can see my roof. do I need? I, I probably, I'm probably going to need more of that. I'm probably going to need... No, not probably. I'm going to need more cobblestone. Did I leave any andesite down here? Yes. Okay. Um, I gotta get, I gotta get my stuff organized. Oh, torches. That was half the reason why I came over here. Uh... Actually, if I do this right, I can start getting the water stream going in a way that I'll have an infinite water up here where I'm working. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to have sand. Did your slime farm get bigger? Slime farm? No. Cactus farm? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. I can't tell what it is from the altitude that I'm at. I just know you have a farm that appears to be larger than it was. Yeah. Yeah, it's a slightly overproductive cactus farm, and I only built it one-fifth the size in the video. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, next season, when we're not limited by hoppers, I might build the full-size one just for kicks. I would hate on it, but I do love to have stuff. Yeah. It What really hurts my soul, though, is because of the hopper limits, I can't organize all the stuff that's dropping in, into a proper storage system. But you need hoppers for that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No 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 no. no, no, no. no. Oh. That thing almost happened. Oh. No 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 no. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> oh. I look forward to hearing it one <laughs> wing. <laughs> Oh, I know what I'm missing now. I am magic. going... Oh no, I'm about to make the magic. I just need, uh, I need leaves. Oh, are you kidding me? I am. Only on Tuesdays. Ah, you stupid <sighs> Minecraft water. <laughs> All right, uh, you know what? some more uh, fence gates too. Huh. Oh, bother. 
That's what I say every time I need fence gates. Oh, Things bother? Expensive. I thought I was going to be able to get an infinite water source going up here, but... Because water is stupidly weird. Um, and this is a half slab and not a full block. It doesn't flow the way it's supposed to? Question mark. Mm -hmm. The way it's supposed exactly. to or the way you want it to? The way it's supposed to. Or do I need to do it there? In which case... Water mechanics are weird. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, now I got what I needed. That was harder than it had to be, but okay, whatever. Fine. Fine. Stuffy's <laughs> gone. <gasps> My stuffies! Okay. What was that about? I have Something more firmage. Did you turn in a challenge or? No, my stuff finally grew up. Oh, okay. Which farm did you uh, finish setting up? Uh, well, they're not a hundred percent finished, but I started okay. my. What, what farm is a hundred percent finished? That's fair. I began the potato and the cacti. Ooh. Yeah, I still got to get my hands on some potatoes. Mmm. Potatoes. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure you dropped some. What? Potatoes? Yeah. No. Okay. I don't have any potatoes yet. That's what well, I need to get. someone dropped. I, I really need to get the... That's why I need to get the mob farm going. Is so I can get the potatoes and carrots from the zombies and the zombie villagers too. Um, it just, just I know that's going to be a massive pain in the butt. And if I can get the sugarcane farm started, I can start eating off a pumpkin pie, which will save me from going through a million and two melon slices. Because apparently pumpkin pie is more filling. Mm, oh, no. Pumpkin pie. Now, As someone who has eaten a lot of pumpkin pie, I don't know that it's that feeling. <laughs> Envy. If it's done well. I mean, who made it? Mm, it's almost time, speaking of pumpkins. Uh. Oh. <laughs> and. Uh. It's not a it's not an option in Minecraft, but uh, you could always get some deep fried pecan pie. I had a friend of mine that was traveling between two two uh, two hospitals where he's working both EMS systems, and, and one of the counties in between had a diner that sold deep fried pecan pie. This was somebody who could finish just about anything you wanted to finish off a plate, and he couldn't finish the slice. And it was not that it was that large a slice. It was just, you know, that rich. Remember when we went on that trip to Marietta Diner? Yes. <laughs> we should do that again. That that should definitely be a thing again. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Now I'm hungry. Cheesecake. Mm. That's all I'm going to say. Actually, you had me at any cheesecake, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Alright. It's time My we flew. My potato farm is fully operational. Isn't that how that goes? Hooray, it's time we flew. Which one's tickle me pick and which one's pickle me and which one's tickle uh, me too? You're close, but not quite. Hooray, let's go. It's time we flew. Ah. I don't know if I've talked about it, but uh, I, I I seem to have some really bad short-term memory problems. And long-term memory. And medium-term memory. 
in computer memory. Well, that too, but there's a chip shortage, John. That's not going to get fixed anytime soon for the uh, money I'm willing to pay. There's a chip shortage? Yes. Oh, yeah. That might be a problem. Why? Because my computer has been showing signs that it shows when I do that thing that makes you shake oh. your head at me. <laughs> Which one is that? Let's narrow, try to narrow that one down, shall we? When, well, no, just in general, when I, like, run the computer into the ground well beyond the point that I should have replaced it, but I, like, because I love my electronics, like, they're people. All right, how many more of these fence gates do I need? I need one, two... And I'm pretty sure you would be saddened if you knew eight. some of the stuff I was having to do. I'm pretty sure I would. Uh oh that's why we don't talk about it. Um, that doesn't make it any better, so you know. Yeah. So, yeah. It, no, it, it's all better because you don't know about it. Um, <laughs> no, that's not how that works. <laughs> it is. Trust me. There's my eight more fence gates. I probably turned my back just long enough for something to spawn up here. No, oh, no, okay, good. And that should be a solid room. Alright, everything that is inside the slime chunk is now spawn proof again. I've got water flowing over to that edge. The fence gate is stopping it from flowing over. I've got the two water streams heading down towards the center. So all the sugar cane that comes from this section here should drop down there. Um, eventually I'll figure out a way to do this a little bit taller or a little bit bigger. But that day is not today. I need... Hmm, I need a... Uh... I need some jack-o'-lanterns, and I need leaves. Hmm, yeah. I have two pig spawn eggs. I don't know what to do with them. Uh, you're going to need pigs for some of the challenges. Oh. Okay. All right. I just realized I really shouldn't do that yet. I don't have all the materials I need. Let's just overlay that. None of that is in the slime chunk. I'm going to need to bring this wall up more in a little bit. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a sugarcane plant, a lantern right behind it, and just above that lantern, a slime block. And I'm going to have two pistons rigged up to push that giant wall of slime blocks and jack-o'-lanterns are not movable by slime blocks, so I can use those for lighting. And leaves are not movable by slime blocks, so I can have them over where 
on top of where the uh, slime blocks would be resting so nothing can spawn on top of them. Uh, so I'm going to need jack-o'-lanterns. Put the torches away for now. I think I lost a sugar cane. I'm sorry, I'm building a farm. Um, that's all the sand I'm going to need for the moment. We got those guys to push them. I don't have the observers yet to power the to automate this. So I'm, this is still going to have to be sort of manual. Uh, let me go back to my storage up here. And what are the numbers next to our name for? It's the number of deaths since I set that up. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I was trying to get it set up to show your island level. But apparently there, there's some problems that keep that from working correctly. Got a ton of spruce leaves, so I'll deal with that in just a minute. And I'll give me a chance to harvest a little more spruce lumber too. Cause I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more for stuff. Kingdom for an efficient axe. Yeah, I gotta get my mob thing up first so that I can get my uh, other thing up so that I can get my people so that I can yeah. Yeah. It, that that's been that's been the biggest thing holding me back from a lot of the stuff that I want to do is I need to get nether access. And that's not going to happen until I get the mob grinder, because that's what's going to get me the flint I need to make a flint and steel to light up the portal. And it's one of those chains. And so naturally, instead of working on the mob grinder that's holding me back, I'm working on the sugarcane farm uh, because I'm procrastinating. Oh, mine is just because I want to make all my floors pretty and I don't want to do temporary floors. So <laughs> I'm not doing it until I know where everything's going once I make the structure. Uh, and you need to build all your floors for that? Yes. Are you using, uh, are you doing all the floors in the same permanent whatever? What do you mean? I'm trying to figure out what you're making the floors out of. All different materials, depending on the floor. But I gotta figure out the layout so I can figure out where things go and I need to know the different block numbers and count and set stuff up and stage things. And to do that I need to do the base layer and the base layer is the mossy and it takes a hot minute to do all this in mossy. Uh, yeah. Yes it does. But it's gonna look so pretty. Sure. I keep debating on whether or not I'm going to even bother trying to make a passive mob farm. I probably won't. Because I'll get... If I if I do the challenges right, I can get two spawn eggs for each of the animals. And then it won't matter. I haven't found a spawn, spawn egg for sheepies yet. Uh, that That's one of the more interesting ones to uh, to pick up. Oh. I wonder, did any uh, leaves fall down that way? I have pigs, way? I have chicken eggs, I have a dog egg, I have a lot of eggs. And yeah. get a stack of charcoal going. You may or may not cry when you see the one you need for sheep. Why? Uh, to get a 
sheep, you need two white wool, two orange wool, two magenta, two light blue, two yellow, two lime, two pink, two gray, two light gray, two cyan, two purple, two blue, two brown, two green, two red, and two black. Wool. Yeah, but once you do the monster farm, you can get the string to make from the, wool. the spiders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is that one bad? Uh, partly for the dyes, because some of these dyes are hard to come by. And, and so some of them, it, it would be easier if you had a sheep and you could use, like, um, if you breed a, a white sheep and a black sheep, you get a gray sheep. And then do it that way. Yeah. And not yeah, carry my shoes on like me. If you like a sheep egg, you mm -hmm. need six of each one. Yeah. It gets progressively harder the longer it goes. Repaint this spruce before I forget. Over and feed some seeds to some other people's sheepies. No, you can't harvest any other people's sheep. <laughs> you shouldn't have told her that. I was gonna wait like three minutes and see if she <laughs> ended up in my barn over here. No, I gotta no. make my pretty places first. Still trying to figure out what the deal is with the waterfall back here. What waterfall? On Medic's place. Oh. I was going to say, I don't have a waterfall. I can't help but wonder if that's uh, an accident. I'd love to figure out a way to push all those fish over here. <laughs> you <laughs> find, hungry, find, buddy? I mean... <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, look, I, since the start of the stream an hour ago, I've gone through almost half a stack of melon slices. Like, why do you, why do you think, why do you think I'm doing this diversion to get, uh, to get all the, uh, jack-o'-lanterns and stuff? Okay, so... have this here. Gonna have my jack-o'-lanterns there. I know this is overkill on the jack-o'-lanterns, but I don't care. The slime blocks. Actually, I may need to take which one's this? Uh, no, no, no! Don't, don't fall off the edge! Don't fall off the edge! Ah! Crikey! into the farm. So I should probably fill that bucket up so I got a handy. Okay. BRB. Uh, not again, not again, not again. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I fell into the wrong part of the farm. I mean, there's not a right part to fall into, but I'm trying to find the center because um, 
I realize that the piston push limit's not going to let me push this entire row all at once. So I think I'm going to rig this so I got one piston at one side, one at the other. But I wanted to make sure for symmetry purposes that that was in the center of the uh, center of the farm. Now, ideally, I would have an observer over here keeping an eye on, like, on this, where this slab is right here, watching a plant on the side and then firing off when, when it sees the, the state change for the uh, growth of a sugar cane. But yeah, well, I mean, early game, all you have is the cobblestone generator, and it's really hard to get more of uh, more of anything else. I don't want one there, because it's not going to get pushed off by anything. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I actually wonder. Hmm. No, 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 no. Not gonna do it, not gonna do it. We'll get those there. And I'm gonna need... to move back this way a little bit. So that guy will be there. Observer stuff later. In the meantime, all I really need is a leaf on top of there to keep him from spawning. Um, I, mean, I guess technically do that for now for a manual harvest and later actually you know what if I do that that'll keep it from growing taller than I really want it to at the moment anyway yeah yeah that'll work for now that'll work that'll work for now and it might keep stuff from falling back. Because the problem is, sugarcane will go to a total of three high. But if I let this farm go long enough that the sugarcane goes three high, uh, which it's going to do until I can get observers to automate this, then there's a chance that the third sugarcane will fall down to the sand instead of getting pushed into the water. And I'm going to end up losing it anyway. But 
if I do that, seems problematic. that then I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I need a better... I, I really, really miss having a billion and two uh, sea lanterns to work with. <laughs> It, it it's amazing it's amazing what you really get used to working with and, and then you find yourself suddenly going oh oh i don't have that huh well then absent minded absent minded yeah it is a, it is getting close to that particular holiday are there uh, decoration plans afoot? Who am I kidding? Of course there's decoration plans afoot. Is it going to be a, as crazy as previous years? Is what I probably should be asking. It's on the calendar. It's on the calendar. Uh, I'm, there's got to be a better way of automating this. I can automate this. I can automate this. I could... I could get a clock going. That just gets those guys moving on a regular clock, because I, I don't want to have to keep coming up here and manually harvesting this stuff. And it would at least work for the time being. And I need those shears that I put away. Naturally. Oh, and I need to build up that front wall too. Because the slime blocks are going to push them. And there's a chance that it'll push them off the edge of the farm. So I need a, I need a tall enough wall that that doesn't happen. And then I'll try to make the walls prettier. Somehow. Let me go grab my shears. Nope. It's one of two boxes. How, how, how can I never remember which one of the one of two boxes it's going to be in? I don't know why I took the slow way down. There we go. can I do? <sighs> I left all my redstone resources up there. Fine. I'll craft up what I can. What sorts of things could I do? Let's build this temporarily around what I got. Alright, so I could put a pressure plate under under there and do a boat clock for now. Which is a, a, an empty boat floating around water streams. That might even be slow enough that it gives these guys a chance to grow. Actually, not gonna go where I hope it does. That's not gonna like. Uh... Okay, so that that'll actually, yeah, the force of that should push it up against the wall, which should keep it away from the cacti. Because even though that pushed into that water stream, that's gonna go around into the hole over there. So that that should be good. Okay. Maybe. Alright, so I need this wall built up to keep those guys from getting ejected beyond beyond the limit. But uh, I'll get to that in just a little bit. I need to I need to think how do I want to do the redstone for this? I could put a crap ton of repeaters on a clock. 
that just gets a low, slow signal running around. That's a thought too. Um, yeah, I might, I might just do that instead. How many repeaters? Because I, I need, I need it to be, I need it to be slow. This needs to be like stupidly slow. Which brings me back to the boat clock. If I put that guy right there, and that guy right there, that should let me get up, up here. I can put a solid block there. I mean, I always put a chicken randomizer too. Just hatch a chicken up here and have it run around <laughs> until until it until he randomly steps on the pressure plate to harvest. But uh, there's always the chance that that might happen too soon too. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, the what? What? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, stupid cacti. English? Uh... <laughs> I... I wish I had English. Oh, come on. <sighs> All right. Let's... What just happened with that, though? Because that's oh 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 okay I know now all right I see what happened I gotcha I gotcha the slime block pulled <laughs> the block that that was on with it okay all right oh that does make things tricky now doesn't it I don't have any extra spare obsidian because I got just enough to make a portal. I could put a furnace there, but a furnace won't be powered. Um, I can't remember if note blocks are movable by by slime blocks or not, or I just build it one block further back. Why, why overcomplicate this? Because I'm good at overcomplicating it. It's a skill. What? Wait. <laughs> what, the overcomplicating it part? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Absolutely appreciate that. Thank you so much.
Alright. I'm probably actually going to have to move that one block further out because boats are too wide. Although... No, because I can have a row down the middle. And that just means that I'm going to have to turn it over here. So that means that that slab there is going to have to be one lower. So the water stream will go out that way. I got a popsicle. Nice. So the water. It makes me happy. Yeah. But do you know how hard it is to drive a Minecraft person? While eating a popsicle? a popsicle? No, actually, I don't. <laughs> it's not easy. if I do the water oh. that water will push it that way that water will push it that way and it should be fat enough that it picks up that one there and one more of those I'll need a lot more of those and Almost certainly need more of those. And if I do this right, I won't have to worry about lighting. But I will have to worry about water. Oh, and I'm going to need to make a boat. This wide enough? I think I did this wide enough. Find out soon enough. end up being a little too narrow. And I might have to change out the pressure plates over the pistons for wooden pressure plates. Now that I think about it. Because I think the stone pressure plates require more weight. Find out soon enough. I hear you eating that, uh... It's a really good popsicle. It's coffee. <laughs> of course it is. What other popsicle would Coffee Craft have? Alright, this is where that guy is. step at a time though yeah okay uh, let me get ah. I'll use them all before too long anyway nope not that one going over that way. Are you kidding me? 
That'll they work. should make coffee whipped cream. <laughs> coffee whipped cream? Oh, coffee and whipped cream. Uh, you know we do have some fresh coffee here, right? No. Yeah, I made it before I started the stream. Nope, I missed that. If I go, yeah. All right, I'll make it symmetrical later. I just want to make sure that this works before I go through the effort of making it symmetrical. Speaking of symmetrical things. <clears throat> uh oh. One of our operations managers uh, found one of my buttons today. Oh, really? And they were very, very proud of themselves for it. Okay. We have this, like, industrial um, hole punch. Mm-hmm. But it's super old school, and it doesn't have any, like, really clear markers of where you're supposed to, like, let the paper spark start for the holes to show up in the right place. So I made a little mark, and when he grabs it, I'm like, hey, put, you know, make sure to put the top of the paper aligned with that mark. <laughs> and he goes, I'll just put it in there. And apparently I made a face. Oh. <laughs> and he just looks at me, oh, I found one of the things. Oops. I broke one of the cacti. So, yeah. That they they fast like but some things just the papers need to be aligned. All right, let me go. That's yeah. Uh, so I started I started the live stream with a stack and a bit of cactus, and that's what we've got so far after an hour and a half. I guess this is productive enough. Alright, uh... One Wing, have you seen any of the Marvel movies? Yep. Well, watermelon is pretty much the only food I've got going right now. <laughs> All right. I fixed the missing cacti that I've already broken once. I hope I, I probably should have waited to see if I broke any more, but uh, I am unreasonably confident that I will do just fine. No, but you mentioned that I sound happy enough even without the coffee. I was going to say the secret is I always have coffee. <laughs> of course you were. Oh, well, I'm here. I could probably make that boat that I'm going to have to make anyway, so uh, let's get a spruce boat going. And just in case, let me make two wooden pressure plates, because I might need those. Oh, <laughs> Yep, yep, got to build that wall up. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my. <laughs> I do I mean I knew it was gonna provide a little forward force, but I, I wasn't expecting, you know. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yep, soon as soon as I finish this redstone, I'm gonna have to build the wall up. <laughs> Where'd you end up? Where did I end up, or where did the sugar cane end up? Either or. Uh, the sugar cane ended up uh, past the slime chunk that this is in front of. All right. I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Um, come on, give me the water. Fine. Oh, because that's not where the water is anyway. Okay. Carefully now, get the edge of the pressure plate. One, two, three, four, five. And then... Yeah, that, that should work out alright. That should work out just fine, because that will curve the water around there. And then I can go... One like a so, and one like a so. And that should be. Oh, have go. you seen how good my vines are growing? Uh, no, I have not. Oh. Before you log off, you should. Huh. You're uh. So you're trying to see if they will actually grow all the way to the bottom. Mm-hmm. I want vines to the void. <laughs> All right, I need two more buckets of water. And then we'll see if this actually works the way I think it does. Because the idea is the water should push the boat around the circle. And as the boat passes over this pressure plate and the one on the other side, it will trigger the piston, which will trigger a harvest. And then I can start working on building up the wall so that way the unfortunate doesn't happen. Because uh, normally you have much better ways of putting together clocks and things, but here on the island of limited resources... Um, let's try this again. I might have enough stairs. There we go. So that pushes it around that corner, but I didn't see if it actually triggered a harvest. I don't think it did. Yeah, the boat is in the water. And then that's going to go around that corner there. And it's going to get stuck. Oh, because it's not far enough forward to pick up the uh, the next water stream. Shoot. Um, all right. Oh, either way, I need to place this one with a wooden pressure plate. Yeah, it's Minecraft. Everything's square. 
replace that one with a wooden pressure plate. And I th how am I going to get this to come around the corner better? I need, I need it to hit a spot where the water's going in that direction. I can pull this out one more, but then it won't be symmetrical. And uh, that just won't be right. one back one more and then move that like that will that get it all the way enough nope that still gets us stuck Interestingly enough, it doesn't look like the wooden pressure plate is making that happen either. Uh, let's see if this at least gets the other one going, and then I can figure things out from there. Alright, here comes the boat. not trigger that pressure plate. Huh. This whole thing might have been for nothing anyway. To rethink this one. No, might. I'm gonna have to rethink this one. Uh, why didn't the, why wasn't the boat enough to trigger? Doesn't have to be an iron pressure plate, does it? I would have thought the wood would have been enough. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Rube Goldberg machine, where you got the thing that triggers the other thing that does the thing to the thing. And it's like 82 steps to uh, to complete something simple as moving a salt shaker over to the other side of the... <laughs> Those are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Rube Goldberg. Some of my favorite stuff. All right. Let me build a taller wall while I think about this. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to need more stone and andesite soon. <clears throat> Hopefully I get enough to finish this. guess this means that I won't be able to put that there, but I could... Oh, bother. Nope, 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 nope. That was doing something important. Okay, <coughs> never mind. that there for the moment. Oh. <laughs> I 
Maybe it's time for me to stop and uh, grab some coffee to reassess. Since I keep uh, cutting the block out from underneath me. There's a block under that one. Because that's going to try to move that, and I don't want it to. Oh, matter of fact, when that goes out, that's going to try to move that bit of wall there as well. So I need more leaves. I've got, got just a few more up in my box, don't I? Of course, now that I left some of that uncovered, there's probably going to be some unfortunate critter there waiting to eat my face. All right, while I'm here, I can get some more stone. I got 63 andesite. That should be okay. I need, where did I put the leaves? Oh, in the box with the spruce, in the box with the spruce. Take the expressway down. I probably should have grabbed more spruce leaves, or should have. I should probably should harvest some more spruce leaves before too long. And I'm gonna need more ladders. I can get up here to work. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to need more. More leaves. Um, it's not going to fire those guys up. So I should be able to slab the top of this and be okay. My kingdom for like one more leaf block. I'll fix the other side and put a regular block there because that's what I did different. No, no, there's a block there. What's different? Oh, because there's supposed to be a leaf block on top of there too. All right, so I just need like one or two more leaf blocks. I'll go harvest. I'll do another uh, spruce harvest in a second here. Why not? No, 
because that's where the slabs are going to go. Let's get this side done now. You know, the important side. The sides actually weren't all that important. This was the important side. I think I'm going to run out of time for uh, the mob farm part of things. I thought I was going to have enough time to do both, but I also thought this was going to go quicker than it has. Something, 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 best laid plans of mice and men. Depending on who they are, they don't just often go awry. Think of that probability issue again. I mean, what are the odds of that? I don't know, but we need to find someone who knows. Because <laughs> I'm really curious. Uh, yeah. Is that Java? Hmm? I heard something, and I wasn't sure what it was. Yeah, I don't play Phasma, so you can't blame that. Well, we can. No, I'm the one Might sneaking up fair, behind. I, I, I'm the one sneaking up behind Arcadius while he's playing, and he goes, "Where are you?" And I whisper behind him, "Right behind you." Oh, that's mean. Hilarious, <laughs> but mean. <laughs> only gotten me once. That doesn't stop him from continuing to try, though. Nope. <laughs> Would it stop you? No, probably not. Does it have to be a full block of water to do the death, or will a half block work? To, to what? To make the death not happen? Oh, to stop you, you from taking fall damage? Mm -hmm. It can be any waterlogged block. Like if you do a waterlogged chest, it will it will actually stop the fall damage, and you don't have to swim out of the hole that you're in. Oh. Um, but like the ones that I've been falling into are waterlogged half slabs. The only thing that won't is a waterlogged stair be or. Uh, fence because it sticks out of the water. Anything that's submerged when you waterlog it is probably the better way of saying that. Well, I mean, a waterlog stair will work. Just don't land on the upper part of the stair. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, yeah. Land in that quarter of a block just below <laughs> And may the That's odds right. ever be in your favor. Well, we, we know why you don't do it. You'd never win, but... All right, now I'm trying to figure out what the deal is with the, the boat. Because that should work. I've seen it work on other people's streams. Uh, I also need to figure out why it won't round that corner. Actually, I know why it won't round that corner. The hitbox... Is that it? Is the hitbox just not going low enough? Do I, do I need to make sure I turn it? Um, there's the hitbox of the boat. Slowly making its way around. Getting stuck on those guys. Having ice would be nice too. We're putting a lantern under these... Uh, Uh, pressure plates so I didn't know if it was triggering it or not alright that's not working because the water is not making it all the way forward 
I gotta figure out a way to get it to nudge nudge it forward enough that it gets into that water stream. Uh, hmm. Or or do I do it like this where that comes around like that? Actually, instead of those there, I'll put bottom slab so nothing will spawn. That goes around, and that will get it into that water stream. The hitbox is going over where the pressure plate is. So if I could ever figure out why... Here comes the boat. Okay. Now I just need to figure out why the boat's not a uh, not enough of a why the boat isn't triggering the pressure plate. In the meantime, that is at least working. It is making its way around the circuit. It's actually moving a little quicker around that circuit than I would have expected it to. Yeah, it does need a duck on the boat. That's fair. All right, let's head back up to the island real quick and I'll grab target blocks. Some redstone. I still got a bunch of spruce, so I got plenty of lumber. Let me grab another stack of stone. And what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh. I can take that off too. Yeah, I'm trying to remember because th this is this is where the short-term memory thing kicks in because different pressure plates are activated by different weights and for different durations too. And I've seen I've seen that design work on other people's stuff. Uh, all right, so wooden pressure plate should detect all entities giving out a max signal strength uh stone pressure plates can only detect players and mobs uh lightweight pressure plates which i believe are um made out of gold yeah lightweight pressure plates made out of gold heavyweight pressure plates made out of iron The light can detect all entities. The signal strength increases as the entities get are added. The heavy detects all entities, but the signal goes up in groups of ten. So wooden pressure plate should a wooden pressure plate should be right, um, because that should detect all entities, giving out a signal strength. So that 
boat. So the boat going over a wooden pressure plate should trigger, should trigger that. But we all see what should gets you. I probably also should have built the top half out of that wood like I did the uh, slime farm now that I'm looking at it. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back and remodel later. But a, a boat moving through a water stream is an entity. So that should be enough to... Although I don't think it's going over that. I'll wait until it comes back around. Unless the problem is that the... Because it's not enough to trigger the stone pressure plates. The stone pressure plate is holding it over over the wooden pressure plate. I bet that's it. I bet that's it. So what I need to do is I need to put something else down the middle. That's not going to hit the hitbox. Yeah, because that's not making it all the way over to the side now. I really need that to get pushed a little bit further to the left. Although... It should be. Uh, that's a little bit more than halfway. So a glass pane is going to be... Oh, a fence post is definitely going to be too wide. And stop it. Um, now the hitbox is going over that. So that should be okay. I need something that's going to... Stop the water that's going to be less than, uh, hmm, something that's going to stop the water, that's going to allow the entity to, ooh, congrats. Thank you. Something that's going to stop. What did you do? Oh, oh complete the potato, potato farm. Yeah. <clears throat> One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Alright, what's going to stop the water, allow an entity through, and not raise it up off the ground? Should I do, uh, maybe I should do fence gates. How many of them are I going to need? One, two, three, four, five, six, Ooh, seven, that finished eight, off my current farm, too. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty... 21, 22, 23. Let me go replace all those stone pressure plates with uh, fence gates. Because I'm now I'm wondering if the uh, the stone pressure plate is lifting the hitbox above where the wooden pressure plate is. I know there's more fence gates than I needed, but I seem to be going through them so quick, it's not like it'll go to waste. <laughs> or is it? Did more of that get harvested? And I just didn't notice? Or is that from me messing around with this stuff? Yeah, no. That, that boat's not triggering anything. Okay. All right, so we'll remove you and do that. Let's make sure the boat can actually pass through that before I do this to the rest of them. Because that should control the water flow and should still allow entities to move through because it's an open fence gate. Yeah. All right. Uh, I need a, <laughs> my pick is about to die. Let me go make another one before I forget. And I get in the middle of this and it get, and it turns bad. Ooh, 
I'm about to get a cow. Ooh. What are you going to name the cow? Fred? What? Just the seed of a ca the cow spawn thingy. Yeah, the cow spawn egg. Not like all the cow. Just some of the cow. Partial cow. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's, that's just mean. Uh, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? That's going to be a big, stupid problem. What's the USB thing that I type on the for, on the sign? What do you mean? To make the thing count down to the what I want to do. Hang on, I'm struggling with water. Um, the USB goes inside of square brackets. Uh, did that even harvest those? Uh, the USB goes inside of square brackets and the challenge name goes on the second line. Okay, that did harvest them. And the boat did seem to make it through. Damn. Is it just USB or were there other words? It's inside of square brackets. But that's it? On the first line, and then the second line is the challenge name. No, that didn't... Ah, uh, the boat didn't trigger that again. Otherwise, it would have... triggered that, which would stop the entities from coming forward, right? Do I need something in the boat? Like, do I need to go get one of those chickens and put it in the boat? Is that what it's going to take? I mean, that's what I got to do. That's what I got to do. Yep, and the boat's going to stop there. There's no pressure plates around here, so it's not like I got to worry about uh, the pressure plate elevating the boat above... Isn't that frustrating? All right. Um. Oh, that's right. I was going to put one of those there for the moment. Now it couldn't be the block that was underneath because if it was the block that was underneath, it wouldn't happen when I stood on it. That's not getting harvested when that goes across. So I need something different. Well, at least the wall's catching that. So I just gotta get, uh, I gotta get, um... Alright. Let me, let me get, uh... I do let me get a couple of torches and a whole bunch of repeaters uh if I do a trip I could I could do a tripwire there is no spin activated lever I could do a tripwire um but that's gonna make this a lot bigger than I want it to so I'm going to see with the basic redstone components I have if I can make a a better a better clock. Um, let's get I need No, I'm going to need more than that. Let's get a stack of torches. Let's get That's more than I wanted, but we'll make it. Yep, 
Yeah, no, I'm I'm really <laughs> I, I I get kind of cranky about not getting redstone as compact as it can be. Not a word out of you two. I want a cookie. <laughs> What, for not saying anything? Yep. That was restraint. Mm-hmm. All right, let's clean this up. <laughs> yeah, beach duck knows. Want cookie. Oh, Earned my cookie. I wouldn't mind a cookie right now, too. I mean, if I get oatmeal that's fiber, like what the doctor recommended, I get a little more of, right? Oh, then, it's, totally. then it's almost like what the doctor asked for. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Maybe not. All right. Nope. Fine. I'll pick it out of the stuff later. All right, so I'll put a target block there. And a target block there. Either way, I'll probably leave that. Wait, why is that one one wider than the other? Did I really move that in? Is that not even anyway? Alright, if the leaves are going over the wall, just one more past the leaves. The leaves are going over the wall. Oh. Because I cleaned that out anyway. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, so let's grab these guys, let's grab some torches, let's grab some dust, and I can put some redstone there, some redstone there. Turn there. A torch there. Uh, we'll go redstone there and there. Actually, I don't need... I don't need all that to be... Uh, 10, 9... I guess the question is... Yeah, if I do it this way, I can get better... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'll explain in a second. Uno momento. And then I can go like that. And that will get a clock going, which will harvest. But I need this pulse to be quicker. what I can start doing is start adding in delay. Oh, unless I do this the other way around and put the delay in between these two. Yeah. Yeah, 
we'll start here. Oh, except I'm going to need one there anyway. So that way the redstone doesn't hook up to the torch. Which also means I can dial that one back. That way that goes there. That leaves that that leaves that extended way longer than I wanted it to. And why is that not? Did I turn one of these the wrong way? I think I turned one of these the wrong way. Need that going in that direction. That direction. Um, hmm. Something got goofed up. Uh oh. I take it you found your withers. Yeah. That doesn't sound good. No, I had two withers and they were backed up by like a squadron of uh, blaze. It didn't go well. Let's just. By the way, where has Medic been this whole time? Quiet. Obviously. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Pretty sure he's there. <laughs> okay. That gets the clock going. I, I guess that bit of redstone was interfering with uh, with everything else. I don't have to worry about anything spawning on top of that guy there. And I can bring these top slabs in one. But I think that's going to end up harvesting those too quickly. Yeah, that leaves them extended out way too long way too quickly. But all, all I'm going to end up doing, increasing the delay here. Hmm. Alright, so where do I add the delay? Because the longer the delay I add on the back side, the more this one's going to be extended. And the longer the delay I add on this side, so maybe maybe that's what I gotta do. Maybe you gotta take these guys out of the loop here. And put the delay on this part here. And keep it flipped like that. Nope. That's closer. That's closer. That gives me the clock. That just doesn't give them enough time to grow. I mean, ideally, I, I'd actually have a daylight sensor set up so that way when it changes from night to day, that's when it harvests. Because the stuff takes a while to grow. Do I not have any stone on me? Oh, I need cobblestone for that anyway. In the meanwhile, I can also do that to turn it off. Is something weird happening with your slime? With what slime? I don't know. One wing asked about it in the comments. Oh, with the slime blocks there? That That's the, the clock that I have going over here 
it is not set up appropriately. So in other words, there's the signal that lasts there is too long. I need I need to figure out uh, a way to slow it down a little bit. I'm wondering. I'm wa I wonder. As you wander. Yeah, that might work. Um, hang on. Let me let me get uh two sticky pistons together. I don't know why I walk down the stairs when all I'm going to do is warp over to my uh, the top of my island. Okay. Because I need I just need the pistons to fire for a moment, and then uh take their sweet time going around the edge, which is why I probably also am going to make a bunch more repeaters because I really I want it to be really slow in making its way around but I need it to blip the the piston for just a minute um, although uh, is that gonna be too quick All right, all right, all right. One problem at a time. One problem at a time. That'd be a first. Let's make another stack of torches. Let's make another 33 repeaters. Let's empty the boat of uselessness out of my inventory. Let's put the spruce pressure plates over in the spruce box. I don't know why I made them. I, I got 58 of them over there. Um... I'm done with the fence gates for the moment. And I'm done with the stone pressure plates for the moment. I need to grab, I need, doggone it. I need more iron than I have. <laughs> All right, let me not waste charcoal cooking up a singular iron I'll have to spend a little more quality time at the uh, at the uh, at the cobble generator What am I looking for? I'm looking for pistons. That gets me two pistons. I need two slime. So I can make two sticky pistons. Jack-o'-lanterns are... can be powered or movable by slime, and the light level means that I shouldn't have to worry about... Uh, yeah. Unless I use a gravity block like, uh, all right. Because basically what, what I want to do is I want to put a one tick pulse, but I think that might end up ejecting the slime blocks over the sugar cane, preventing it from harvesting appropriately. But we'll try this. I mean, it could work. Stranger things have happened. Because the problem is, is the, the slime stays extended for too long. And it's also firing too quickly. So I need to throw more delay. But the only option I have for putting more delay is throwing more repeaters. And every time I add more repeaters, that's going to increase the duration at which the slime stays extended. Well, let me, uh, before I go making major changes, let me try, let me crank up the delay on this side. I'll 
leave that short. And the delay is cranked up on that side. Yeah, except that's going to end up keeping that too powered for too long. And same thing on this side. I, I need something to shorten the signal just enough. So. Hideous, come here. Because once that gets powered, that's going to... So let's do like that. Oop. And like that. And we'll break that temporarily. Oh, come on. That is not what I picked. Um, or is that not going to get moved by the slime block? Or the uh, sticky piston. Okay. Arcadius, come here. Um, in a different dimension. <laughs> Literally or figuratively? Early? Uh, what just happened? And you can't leave that dimension? Present. I don't have enough of a delay in the middle. Yes. That wasn't funny. <laughs> they can't even spawn here, and that wasn't funny. Huh? The creeper noises. What happened? Yeah, that that's that's working out less well than it was before. All I'm right. confused. What happened? You made a hissing sound like a creeper. And someone got a little cranky about that. Justifiably so. No, I, don't hear I didn't make a hissing sound. I made an excited sound. Mm -hmm. If people yeah. come to my base, they would see why. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's staying out too long. So is that. I don't think that's going to give the sugarcane enough time to grow. But I might not be able to do any better until... Uh, until I can get some observers. So I'll turn that off for the moment while I rethink things. Given the time, I might have to call it a night anyway. And I guess next time I'll get to the actual mob farm. Although, it looks like some, uh, some sugar cane's getting harvested. I don't know. We'll see. So we get a stack in 21, and we'll see what it looks like. You know what? Let me just grab that in my inventory. And then we'll see what sugar cane pops out from there after, uh, after some time. Uh, let's see what we got for eggs, and maybe I can get enough, uh... Alright. Let's get some sugar, and... Oh! No, no, no! Ah! Oh, dang! I didn't mean to complete it. I didn't want to complete it. I hate it when you do that. When, when you got uh, when you got, uh, let me move that sign one block back. Make it harder to accidentally hit.
Okay. That's harder to hit accidentally. I don't think there's an egg collector challenge. <laughs> I got what? One, two, three, four of those guys in there. I don't really want more because we got we got a limit to the cap. No, oh, five. We got a limit to how many passive mobs you can have on your island at any given point in time. Uh, I guess I can turn that on a little bit since I'm not... I'll put the dirt to use in a little bit. I'll work up there maybe next week. Um, depending on if I get the mob farm done between now and then. And... I just wish I could figure out the timing. Because I need a longer delay. Or... Or did I just have the... Uh, the alright, 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 alright. Real quick, real quick. Just, just for kicks. Let's put that guy there. Let's put that guy there. Let's do that right there. And then we'll do the same right here. And then I might be able to crank up the delay just a smidge more. Because it will only fire. Mm. Oh, I probably need a repeater right after that. Which means I'm probably going to need a repeater right after that. keep anything spawning from over there. That'll keep anything spawning over there. And then we go... That's not quite what I was looking for, but it might work anyway. Then I should be able to go like that. And crank up the delay just a little bit more before it gets around that corner. No. Yes, no. Maybe so. Oh, because I, I messed things up. Okay. <laughs> let me let me see if I can add just a little more delay in here then. And this might be not ideal, but enough. Try a little reverb instead of delay. Yeah. I could. Could you? Actually, uh, do, working with uh, live audio is one of the things that I've been thinking about a lot uh, to to improve the some of the stuff with the vocal mic. XSplit had I, I could send instead of sending. Uh, probably should ask me this uh, way back at the beginning of the stream when I had slightly more brain cells to rub together. Uh, hang on, let me let me start this. Make sure that it actually works the way I hope it does. That signal is going to run through. It's going to blip there. Oh, because... Alright, um... If I do that... I might not be able to keep all that delay in there.
There are limited to how many of those you can have, too. Ooh, that works. Okay. Uh, the problem the problem is if if the signal stays too long on the piston, then it breaks the cycle. There we go. So that power is running down this line of repeaters. It is doing a quick one tick pulse through there. So that is just popping that long enough to move the pistons. Oh, but it's ejecting the blocks. Okay, that was one of the things that I was worried about. And it's doing exactly what I was worried about. I kind of hope that... Uh, it would still... It would still be able to manage... Uh, Alright. Yeah. Bother. Hmm. Wait, why is that not happening on the other side then? Is it because I'm getting... Oh, I got one repeater. And that. Or is it because I need one repeater there? because it got flipped earlier and uh all right let me get a uh, button to see if that can't fix that okay so all the sticky pistons are where they ought to be let me connect that back up let me start that back up Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Shoot. It is... Because it's doing a one-tick pulse, it is ejecting the slime blocks over. And that is not what I want. Uh... That's what I need to do is just add a smidge more delay on that side and a smidge more delay on that side. Because I need that signal to last long enough that it doesn't uh, treat it like a one tick pulse. There we go. That might be it. Okay. That whole clock's still going a lot faster than I want it to. But we'll see how that does. I think I'll just leave it just like it is and we'll see how that goes. Um, I wish there was something you could put on top to make it spawn proof, but apparently not. Alright. I can't let any more delay go in over here, otherwise that's going to leave that extended out longer than it should. I've got as much delay as I can over there. Yeah, all right. We'll see how that goes. Let me collect up the last of the uh, 
sugar cane there. I'll have to find a place to put that. Any, uh... Hmm. Let's make two more pumpkin pies real quick. Any sugar, not sugar cane. There we go. Alright, so we got a sugarcane farm that may work. Depends on how things go. We got a cactus farm that absolutely works. Oh, uh, maybe a little too well. We got the slime farm that's working a little too well. So well that I barely leave it on. Melon and pumpkin farm that it's it's slow, but it's enough for the now. And I might need to get a couple more chickens in here, too, because these guys are a little slow. But I don't want to eat up my passive mob cap with uh, chickens. Because um, here, here's the basic idea. I got these challenges that require certain blue challenges to be undone. I've got these that have challenges that need to be unlocked before I can unlock... Yeah, basically, the prerequisites are a couple deep. Um... My goal is to complete all the challenges at least once. So I, I've done the cobblestone generator challenge, and I probably won't keep turning that one in because I've got better sources of leather coming as soon as I get the mob, the mob dropper going. I shouldn't need to do the apple collector anymore because I should have enough saplings to, to be sustainable once I get a log, a manual log farm put together. Um... I could probably do the sugar far sugar farmer right now. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. Bam. All right, challenge done. And I got some dirt from that. Now, I may or may not continue doing that. It just depends on how much dirt I end up needing. Um, same for the melon farmer and the cactus farmer. I will, I've already completed 24 times, but I will probably complete many, many more because sand is in short supply. And this is probably going to be my primary source of gathering sand. Uh, pumpkin farmer I've done, but I probably won't do too much more. Uh, stone brick maker. I might do some more. I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not exactly overflowing with stone and stone bricks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, Medic and Arcadius are using doing a lot of decoration with grass. And once I get to decorating the top part of the island, I will need a lot more dirt, too. Specifically for the grass. Uh, but I'm just not there yet. Um, I can't do the last bit of your island level until I get my island level up to 500. Uh, the Lumberjack... Well, the Lumberjack and the Stone Brick Maker, I don't need the rewards as much. Because I'm getting better iron and redstone from spending time on the cobble generator than I am from turning those in. But I've completed them, so that way they unlock anything that they're prerequisites for. Uh, if I ever decide I need more mycelium, which I don't know if I do or don't, I might do more of the shroom collector, but I've already completed it at least once. So, there is that. I need a potato to complete the potato farmer, which I can get from the mob farm once I get that cracking. Same with Carrot Farmer. Uh, yeah, that's the apple collector. And the, the main reason why I needed the apples was so that way I could get the saplings for the other types of wood. And the stupid jungle tree wasn't consistently dropping a sapling for me to replant it. So I that's why I had to do the apple collector four times. I'd have rather save the apples uh, so I can use golden apples to cure zombie villagers into regular villagers because that is the only way to get villagers out of all this. Um, so I, I need to get potatoes and carrots from the mob farm. I, I've got enough wheat that I could actually turn this in right now, and, and I, I might just do that. But this is the this is this is the thing that's stopping me from everything. Because uh, I need I need the string and arrow and bone from the mob farm in the first place. And I need the flint from completing the challenge to make a flint and steel for lighting. Uh, not just zombies. It, it's got to be a zombie villager. 
when hostile mobs are spawning in a hostile mob spawner, there is a percentage chance that instead of a regular zombie, you get a zombified villager. If you hit a zombified villager with a potion of weakness and then feed him a golden apple while they are weakened, they will cure from being a zombified villager and turned into a regular villager. That's how Arcadius and Medic got their villagers, is they cured two zombified villagers and then let them uh, create a village. Uh, what consenting villagers do behind closed doors. Uh, but I can't, I can't do any of that until I can get to the nether to get nether wart, which I can't do until I get the monster farm. I mean, eventually I, I will want to do the homeowner because the homeowner is the prerequisite for, uh, it's the prerequisite for a bunch of these other challengers. Exactly. Uh, so I'm, whether well, I don't really want to do the homeowner in, in particular because I, I have no need for the requirements, but if I want to complete it so I can unlock the other challenges, uh, I guess I'm going to have to do this. And uh, I, I really hate that it's specifically an oak door and a red bed, but this this Skyblock was built, this version of Skyblock was written before there were multiple colored beds and before there were multiple kinds of doors. So the the challenge never got updated in the sense that it allowed for one of the many types of beds or one of the many types of doors. It was just made specific to be the same as it was before. Uh, but I don't know that there's a way to make it conditional as in one of a select item uh, the way the code is written right now. Java is not my... I know just I know enough about general programming that I can look at a Java program and get a sense of what is going on, but not I don't I'm not I didn't study Java programming and I'm I may have to if I want to start building Minecraft mods, which, which kind of sucks because Java programming is not not well known for being easy to learn or fun to program in, but oh well. Yeah, well, that, that is exactly what I was thinking of doing, was building it up, completing the challenge, and then tearing it down. So that way I'll have the challenge completed. But until I get Silk Touch, that's a waste of a glass. Uh, unless I can build it, unless I can at least build it in a room where the glass is going to stay where it is. Uh, but yeah, I that is the cornerstone, because then I can start doing stuff like making a music dust farm and... and uh, getting enough string to do the wool collector. Uh, I, I need to get a fishing. I need to get a fishing hole put together. I know Arcadius has just been waiting for me to say that. I need to get a fishing hole together and start fishing these guys up. Uh, actually, once I get to the Nether, I can get enough. Uh, I can get enough magma blocks that I can probably make an automatic fish farm, and then I don't have to go fishing. Yeah. I might do that. And I'm not sure what the requirements are for the expert farmer because i got to unlock those three. Um, <laughs> what? Automate, automate, automate. Automate everything. Why do, you, why do you think I spend so much extra time fussing with that stupid clock so I could... Yeah, I know. The poor dolphins. They, that, they're going to be a problem too. Um... Except they drop cod, so that's not quite a problem. Okay, no. It, okay. So that clock up there, just in the time that I thought I was going to wrap up and now got a seven sugar cane. So it is at least producing sugar cane. Um, then we'll see how long this goes before, uh, before I get a chance to collect. <laughs> Although I think that cactus is going to fill up long before then. Because, uh, yeah, that thing is very productive. Although, uh, what I would like to do is, once I get enough materials, I would like to extend this farm out. So what I might do is keep this clock the same and just stack up a torch tower above this. So that way I can stack multiple layers of this sugar cane upwards a little bit um, and get two or three up. Of course, that means 
bringing that wall up, which I, I wasn't expecting. Um, maybe I'll, maybe I can find a way to do it a little bit. Actually, if I were to put some glass panes just far enough out to stop it, and then knock it down into the water stream. That could work. That's got promise. Of course, that's when I have more sand or glass than I know what to do with, which I don't have yet. Um, all right, so that's, yeah, that that's working out okay. Not as fast as I'd like, but yeah, I would like to stack up a, a better producing sugarcane farm. Uh, having a clock with a more appropriate set of delays would be better. Ideally, is when I can get an observer down in that corner there watching. So that way, when that guy grows, it triggers instead of setting it on a timer. Um, yeah, I put a lot of work into it, but it, it's going to be good for the next long while. And I'm going to need this style of clock for a lot of things later on. I've also got an off switch, which which is nice too, because uh, I don't have an off switch for the cactus farm, but I don't know that there is one. Uh, I mean, eventually I could probably put enough sticky pistons that push a half slab down so the cactus doesn't think it could grow. That's a possibility. But that's going to require a lot of sticky pistons, which I won't be able to get until I can get an iron farm together. Which I can't get until I get villagers, which I can't get until I get to the nether. And now now we see where <laughs> the the stacking of uh the stacking of challenges. And how that's uh that that's really crimping a lot of a lot of things. But I mean it's it, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, I don't I don't have as stylish an island as those two guys do yet. But I mean I, I'm knocking out the challenges and I should uh Yeah, that's right. I brought a bunch of charcoal down here to top these guys off. Um And more more farms are coming, so there'll be a giant mob farm over there and like I said, a lot of these are ugly farms. Uh, I'll, uh, which is why I want to uh, hide them <laughs> under a beautiful island. Sorry, that's my small island. There's Rest's growing platform. There's Medic's growing platform. <laughs> well, that's. I'm not hoarding resources for a late game growth, but. By the nature of what I am doing, I will have a sudden surge forward in uh, late game, later game resources, just because I'm taking the time to to do these slow and steady. Uh, it has its benefits, it has its drawbacks, which are worth it. Depends on how you view a lot of it. Uh, personally, I am, I'm willing to wait. I'm willing to wait it out and get, uh, and, and get the rewards later on at the expense of being able to do stuff now. But that's just me. Uh, storage. Actually, if I... <laughs> Between now and next week, I'm either going to get that mob dropper going or I'm going to get a proper storage room going because I definitely want to set this up so that way you drop down here and maybe two blocks out is a ring of workstations and then around that is a ring of storage chests and I count an infinite water supply as a workstation so I'll probably bury that somewhere or set that somewhere. Um... Yeah, different play styles because, you know, they, these guys got their mob farms early, but that the the rates are limited and uh, medics is set up so it's player kill only. Arcadius is, is set up so that way it's mostly uh, gravity kill and it's hard to switch between the two. So while mine's going to be, oh, yeah, I'm going to need to get some more iron for four more sticky pistons. Unless I set those aside. Did I set those aside? I thought I set some aside for uh, for 
for the mob farm. Oh, please tell me I was smart enough to... Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I'm going to need the sticky pistons and the glass panes because for, for the challenge and for some of the potions, I'm going to need spider eyes. Spider eyes only drop when spiders are killed by a player. So I can't... I can't get spider eyes from a farm like Arcadius's where they fall to their death and burn. It's got to be from a player kill or from a tamed dog. And I've got the um, wolf spawn egg, but I can't do anything with that until I get enough bones to tame him. Um, I mean, I might do something with a mule before too long. Just so. I <laughs> All right. All right, that's enough of that. Let me uh, let me get to the credits here because I I'm now rambling, 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 and I need to uh <laughs> yeah, sim similar to that, similar to that. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have them drop into a shaft with a retractable floor, so when I want to do the player kills, they'll fall onto the floor that's extended out beneath them. And it'll take them down to a heart or half a heart of damage. And then I can knock them off easy. And then when I want them to just fall to their death and get the lesser drops from that, I can flick a switch, open the doors, and do it that way. Um, it, it's going to take a little bit of, of figuring out to center everything over the collection system. But it'll be worth it when I do. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be worth it when I do. I just got to figure out uh, where we're to put a couple of things. All right. So, thank you for joining along. I hope you guys had fun. Let me see who's available for a raid real quick. All right. So, it looks like Beast Lord J is on and ready for a raid. He is playing Yakuza Like a Dragon. I'm not familiar with that game, so let's uh, let's drop in, say hello, and see what he's got. Thank you, One Winged Angel. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna pop the title card, start the raid, stick around, and let's go join Beast Lord. <laughs> 